Good day to everyone. We will discuss about absolute value and integers. So the absolute value of a number denoted by the symbol is the distance of a number on a number line from zero regardless of the direction. So let us have examples so that we can understand more the absolute value of a number. So represent the absolute value of 8 on the number line. So let us study the figure. So we graph from 0 till 8. So let us count the number of units from 0 to 8. So the distance of 8 from 0 is 8 units. Therefore, the absolute value of 8 is 8. Thus, in symbol, we have the absolute value of 8 is equal to 8. Now let us have more example. Represent the absolute value of negative 7 on the number line. So let us study this figure. So from 0, counting the distance to negative 7, regardless of the direction. So the distance of negative 7 from 0 is 7 units. Therefore, the absolute value of negative 7 is 7. Thus, in symbol, we have here the absolute value of negative 7 is equal to 7. So let us have more examples of the absolute value of a number. Now simplify the following. So before we proceed to this example, let us recall the definition of the absolute value of a number. So the absolute value of a number is the distance of a number from zero on a number line regardless of the direction. In other words, since we are talking about distance, it means that when we get the absolute value of a number, we are getting the positive value. Okay, let's have the examples. So we have the absolute value of negative 18 is equal to 18. The absolute value of 34 is equal to 34. The absolute value of 10 is equal to 10. The absolute value of negative 51 is equal to 51. The absolute value of 0 is equal to 0. And the absolute value of 100 is equal to 100. So let's have more examples. Negative absolute value of 9 and negative absolute value of negative 29. So how are we going to simplify this? Negative sign outside the absolute value symbol means that you're getting the opposite value of the number. So let us discuss. So we have negative absolute value of 9. So first, we have to get the absolute value of 9, which is 9. Then we get the opposite of 9, so it is equal to negative 9. And for the second example, in number 4, we have negative absolute value of negative 29. So first, we have to get the absolute value of negative 29. It is equal to 29. Then get the opposite of 29. So we have negative 29. And for the last example, for our absolute value of a number, simplify the absolute value of negative 24 plus the absolute value of 17 minus the absolute value of negative 12. So we have to get first the absolute value of these three numbers. So the absolute value of negative 24 is 24 plus the absolute value of 17 is 17 minus the absolute value of negative 12 is 12. So according to the PEMDAS rule for addition and subtraction, whichever comes first. So we add first 24 and 17. So 24 plus 17 is equal to 41 minus 12. So it is equal to 29. Therefore, the simplified form of the absolute value of negative 24 plus the absolute value of 17 minus the absolute value of negative 12 is equal to 29. 
Now let us proceed with the addition of integers. So let us have the rules for addition of integers. The first one, if you are adding two integers with like signs, add their absolute value and affix or copy the like signs. Let us have examples. So letter A, 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. So we are adding two integers with like signs. They are both positive. So we add their absolute value, 10 plus 3, 13, and affix the like sign, which is positive. So therefore, the sum is positive 13. Now, for example, letter B, we have negative 21 plus negative 18. Take note that we are adding two integers with like signs, and like signs is negative. So we add their absolute value, 21 plus 18 is 39. And we copy or affix the like sign, which is negative. So, therefore, the sum is negative 39. Now, for our second rule, if you are adding two integers with different signs, take note, with different signs, subtract their absolute value and affix the sign of the integer with the greater absolute value. So, let us have examples. We have here negative 14 plus 7. So take note that we have here two integers with different signs. So subtract their absolute value, 14 minus 7. So we have 7. And follow the sign of negative 14, which is negative, because negative 14 has the greater absolute value than 7. So therefore, the sum is negative 7. Now, for a letter B example, we have 23 plus negative 8. So, we subtract their absolute value. 23 minus 8 is 15. The result is positive because 23 has the greater absolute value than negative 8. That's why we copy the sign of 23, which is positive. Therefore, the sum of 23 plus negative 8 is equal to 15. Now, let us proceed with the subtraction of integers. So, subtraction of integers, let us have the rules. So, if you are subtracting two integers, change the sign of the software hand and proceed to the rule of addition of integers. So, take note that for the subtraction of integers, Remember the rule for addition of integers. Now, for symbol, we have M for the minuend and S for the subtrahend. So, following the rule here, so we have minuend minus the subtrahend will become the minuend, then change the operation symbol from subtraction to addition and change the sign of the subtrahend to its opposite. So, since this is positive, we have negative S. Now, let us have examples. So, letter A. 16 minus 9, it is equal to 16. Copy the minuend, which is 16. Change the subtraction symbol to plus sign. And then get the opposite of 9, which is negative 9. Then following the rule for addition of integers, we have 16 plus negative 9 is equal to 7. So therefore, 16 minus 9 is 7. Now let's have the example letter B. We have here negative 8 minus 5. So we copy the minuend, which is negative 8. Again, change subtraction to addition and get the opposite sign of 5, which is negative 5. Following the rule for addition of integers, we have negative 8 plus negative 5. It is equal to negative 13. Therefore, negative 8 minus 5 is equal to negative 13. Now, for letter C, we have here negative 3 minus negative 7. So, copy the minuend, which is negative 3, change minus sign to plus sign, and get the opposite sign of negative 7, which is positive 7. So, negative 3 plus 7, following the rule of addition of integers, we have to get 4. 
So therefore, negative 3 minus negative 7 is equal to positive 4. Now for example, letter D, 4 minus 9, it is equal to 4. So again, we copy the minuend 4, change minus sign to plus sign, and get the opposite sign of 9, which is negative 9. So 4 plus negative 9 is equal to negative 5. Therefore, 4 minus 9 is equal to negative 5. For our last example for subtraction, we have here 23 minus negative 5. So we copy the minuend, which is 23, change minus sign to plus sign, and get the opposite of negative 5, which is positive 5. So 23 plus 5 is equal to 28. Therefore, 23 minus negative 5 is equal to 28. Now, let us proceed for the multiplication of integers. So let us have the rules. First rule, if you are multiplying two integers with like signs, take note, like signs, multiply their absolute value and affix or copy the positive signs for the product. So let us have examples. Letter A, so 10 times 3, it is equal to 30. So parenthesis means here is multiplication. So we are multiplying two integers with like signs. They are both positive. So the product is positive, positive 30. For example, letter B, we have negative 11 times negative 2. So we are multiplying two integers with like signs. The product is always positive. So 11 times 2 is 22, positive 22. Therefore, negative 11 times negative 2 is positive 22. Now, for the second rule, if you are multiplying two integers with different signs, so multiply their absolute value and affix or copy the negative sign. So take note that if we are multiplying two integers with different signs, the product is always negative. So let's have these examples. So, negative 14 times 7. So, 14 times 7 is 98. Since we have different signs here, so the product is negative 98. For example, letter B, we have 15 times negative 3. So, 15 times 3 is 45. And we have different signs here. So, the product is negative. Negative 45. Now, let us proceed for the division of integers. So we have here the same rule for multiplication. So first rule, if you are dividing two integers with like signs, divide their absolute value and affix or copy the positive signs. So take note that we, if we are dividing two integers with like signs, the quotient is always positive. So examples, we have 10 divided by 2, so it is equal to positive 5. Letter B, negative 14 divided by negative 7, it is equal to positive 2. For the second rule, if you are dividing two integers with different signs, so divide their absolute value and affix the negative signs. So it means that with integers with different signs, Okay, the quotient is always negative. So let us have examples. Okay, example letter A, we have 35 divided by negative 5. So it is equal to negative 7. Then for letter B, we have negative 15 divided by 3. So it is equal to negative 5. I hope you understand our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.